Chapter 1. The Sales Communication Ecosystem and Your Competitive Advantage. After reading this chapter you will learn about the 1, Billboard of Business Expectations 2, Business and Human Anatomy 3, 8 Organisms that Makes Up the Sales Communication Ecosystem 4, for Influencers Models. A deep understanding of the ESCE, will also position you to have a working knowledge of the absolute bio data markers and its importance to identifying the ideal clients and building products and services that command the attention of your ideal client and drive the business cash flow objectives. The following questions will come at the end of reading this chapter and you are expected to answer them to the best of your ability. This exercise will test your reading and comprehension skills, your critical thinking and leadership skills and your ability to retain information and be responsive to important business data. Questions and Exercise Explain in your own words what is the sales communication ecosystem and how it aids business growth. Identify two advantages of using the sales communication ecosystem to drive business success. Why do sales communication professionals achieve more in all aspects of their lives? What do you understand from the term absolute bio data markers and how important is this concept to gaining business competitive advantage? Identify two benefits of using the absolute bio data markers in your business or show how you plan to use it in your business. To master the art and science of the sales communication process it is necessary to understand your corporate and personal brand and how your minimum viable offer relates to the ideal client. Your MVO proposes how your brands intend to add value or fix a problem directly associated with your specific target market. Your minimum viable target market or ideal client has several factors that influences their purchasing decision that every SCPs should be aware of. Those factors that motivate or influence your ideal client comes from collecting, analyzing, and leveraging demographic, psychographic and geographic information about your ideal client. At the most basic level you owe your ideal client the opportunity to get to know your brand, like your brand and trust your value offer. See Chapter 4 to learn more about the known, liked and trust factors of sales. Let us examine the following billboard of expectations in the table shown below. Billboard of Client Expectations Client Expectation Number 1, Quality Services Sales communication professionals know that they have an obligation to provide the ideal client with the best before, during and after sales shopping experience. To transmit this quality of service to the specific target audience, SCPs, must have a blueprint or master plan that enable them to achieve this specific outcome with the highest degree of accuracy and with the highest degree of consistency. How to build your quality service master plan. Marketing master plan and your before the sales services. Sales communication professionals are highly skilled at converting first-time users into lifetime clients because they deliver quality and value consistently, above the client expectation. For you to achieve this desired outcome, you must first identify who is your minimum viable target market and what are their motivators and drivers or those factors that influence their purchasing decisions. This knowledge will give you the tools to command their attention in advertising and marketing stage or before the sales service process and support them in getting to know your brand, liking your brand, and trusting your brand even before the purchase takes place. There are several important factors to consider before embarking on the sales process. The following are some important concepts to consider. Develop a strong marketing game plan based on data. Take the time to identify your minimum viable target market based on demographic, psychographic and geographic information relating to the specific demographic. This in-depth knowledge of your ideal client will put your marketing efforts miles ahead of your competition when it comes to innovating products and services that align to the expectations of your MVTM. Understanding your target audience is critical to developing an effective sales strategy. Your minimum viable offer. Take the time to truly understand how to develop your value offer to have the desired impact with the specific demographic. The more you know about the target market, the better able you are to develop and propose your minimum viable offer. Focus on the pain points of your ideal clients, their desire for joy, peace, and happiness, their desire for more growth and expansion. Align your MVO to reach those expectations and commit to solving their problems. Make your value offer unique, exceptional, and compelling and ensure you and your team can apply the four influencer models discussed in this book to communicate this information clearly to all relevant stakeholders. Your Salesforce competency, 
your sales communication team leaders should have good leadership and communication skills which in most cases is not acquired naturally. You will have to invest in building a strong sales force that can lead to inspire and empower your ideal client to take informed action in responding to your value offer. By delivering value consistently, above the client expectation. Your sales communication team should be trained to master how to apply 1, the sales communication objectives 2, the sales process 3, the communication process 4, the pull factors of sales 5, the push factors of sales 6, the influencer models and 7, communication medium. You can also consider subcontracting your firm's sales communication and marketing tasks to sales communication professionals who have years of experience under their belt in delivering targeted results. If you choose to build your sales team, you must ensure that they are properly trained to effectively articulate your minimum viable offer or the value proposition in a manner that command attention, pique interest, arouse desire, and move the ideal client into action. Lead Generation and Lead Conversion Your sales communication professionals should be lead generation and lead conversion specialist. If there are no leads, there is no client conversion. If there are no client conversions, the business does not get to cash flow and will eventually go under. Client leads can come from many sources. Today many private businesses like social media platforms, banks and credit cards companies, certain types of government agencies, lead gorilla, NACE etc., have built themselves up as big data specialists and they are not only collecting sensitive data, but they are also analyzing, segregating data based on what this book introduces and examines as the absolute bio data markers. Some of these players are also packaging and selling big data that can give you, with 101% accuracy, access to millions of your ideal clients that are ready to invest and do business with you based on their exact bio data markers. Starting your business off with this type of information and sales communication professionals on your side, can give you a huge head start and a major competitive advantage in client conversion, business growth and cash flow optimization. Staying ahead of the competition, competitive advantage is not constant. The landscape of business is changing constantly. But you have choices, you can be the force that influences market change or settle to be the byproduct that is being influenced by market forces. To attain competitiveness in business your leadership must commit to being market-oriented and market-sensitive. Conduct regular SWOT analysis, be aware of pest analysis and know that the element of competition is not only coming from mega-brands but also political ideologies and social influences. Position your brand leaders to become proactive leaders that can think ahead, see beyond problems, and take informed action to realize desired results in the landscape of business. Product pricing strategies, many rising starts in business run away with the idea that lower priced products and services will have the competitive advantage in the market. That belief is miles away from what is the actual truth. Your product and service costing strategies must take a few factors into consideration. While there is certain consumer that are influenced by the lowest price for goods and services, there are another consumer type that would frown and completely reject lower price products, and these are consumer behavioral patterns and habits that all sales communication professionals should be aware of as they develop pricing strategies to influence and connect with the minimum viable target market. Brand visibility and your marketing strategy. One of the first things you must consider before going to market with your products and services is the strength and relevance of your minimum viable offer. Once your HMVO is fully optimized it is time to go to market and drive market visibility and market strategic positioning. This is a very peculiar process that begins with your understanding of the target market based on data, the alignment of you or the client MVO, to the pain points of the MVTM and the communication outlets that will be used to filter marketing content through. Specialized marketing strategies and marketing content, among everything mentioned above that must be considered, they must also be designed to reflect communication biases for social media, mass media, the metaverse and independent communication platforms. See Chapter 4 to learn more about brand visibility, marketing strategies and media effectiveness. To be continued.